Um, hi, the video I'm doing today is probably outdated by next week um, because I just heard from Soddy that he's also working on a new PlayStation emulator um, based on PCSX and he's just ironing out the last few bugs and PCSX is way better and faster than the current one we have. Um, but let's take a look at how well the current one we have runs. Uh, these games run at 800 megahertz, um, which is basically uh, something every Pandora I've seen can do. And here's Alundra, um, classic 2D Zelda-like game, runs pretty well. Now let's see, here's a 3D game, Crash Bandicoot. Here's some intro. I don't think I need to tell what game that is. Everyone remembers that game, whoever had a PlayStation. So, yeah, Final Fantasy VII. Um, let's skip the intro, that's just an animated movie anyways, and go to a battle scene. Here we are, just in front of the first, well, not a major boss, but a small boss. Runs full speed, as you can see, very playable. Only thing, music sometimes speeds up and slows down, but that's about it. Let's stay a bit in the Final Fantasy realm um, and let's switch to my favorite Final Fantasy game in the series so far and that's Final Fantasy IX. Here you go. Also running full speed, very playable. The only thing that's a bit annoying uh, on this emulator at the moment is that whenever it doesn't display anything on the picture and loads the game, uh, loads some game data, the music speeds up um, because the frame limiter isn't working properly then. But I said, new emulator should also fix that. And sound and graphics are really nice here. Okay, let's head on to some real 3D game, and a real fast one if you ask me, and that's Need for Speed 3. Really fun to play, there are some um, artifacts in the picture, so you can see some um, black issues on the texture, but it's really fun to play and really fast, and full 3D and works nice. So 
another game that actually works really well on the current emulator already, and that's Parasite Eve. Um, I know because I played it completely on the Pandora from the beginning to the end. Um, this is just right before the end, so there's some nice movie in there. Let's, ju let's just take a look a bit at these pictures. So here's some neat jump and run game on the PlayStation. Spyro the Evil Dragon or something like that, yeah. Um, well, he's evil. He's chasing these green frogs. I mean, chasing frogs has to be evil. Um, also running playable, very nice. Sound is good, graphics is good, controls are good. Everyone thinks it should be possible to have full speed PlayStation emulation with 600 megahertz. This one isn't even using the 3D chip or any other things. Now, for one of my favorite role-playing games, Scene of Years. I didn't expect that one to run that good because it has a lot of effects. And that's no movie, that's actual real 3D with light effects with with a lot of camera movements and stuff like that and it works full speed on the Pandora and the sound is also nice. So another one of those games which are already playable very well and well which probably will become way better playable with the next update. Of course as soon as I got the new emulator I am going to make an update and show you some uh, more games I'm also trying to get some safe games for uh, Final Fantasy IX and Final Fantasy VII where there are some bigger boss fights so there's more animation and more 3D stuff. Okay, enjoy these last pictures. That's for today's video. Tomorrow we're going to take a look at mini menu, um, the options, how it works and stuff like that. So we'll keep our one day games and uh, one day tutorial or information about the system itself. See you tomorrow.